Today we help you pick up those lovely Christian ladies. Welcome to the back row. Welcome to the back row with Matt and Marty. I'm Matt and I have 226 Funko Pop figures. And I'm Marty. This is a rental. Today we are talking about the worst Christian <laughs> pickup lines out there. Uh, it's oh. almost Valentine's Day, and we thought, you know, if you're single, yeah. maybe we'd help you get a date. Or not. It's not just the pickup lines. Dating as a Christian in general is difficult because we have yeah. to do it differently. You we know, set we, a standard. Yeah, new rules for us that don't apply to the rest of the world, it seems. Um, but we have a few dating stories we'd like to share with you before we jump into our main segment. Uh, the first one I wanted to uh, point out was, I've only actually ever dated one girl, and that was my wife. Uh, but I met her when we were in junior high school. She was in seventh grade, I was in eighth grade. And uh, I think a year later I wanted to ask her out, um, but I didn't know when to do it. But we had this big uh, youth event, it was a concert and games, all kinds of stuff going on at, at a church in town that we went to. I'm like, tonight's going to be the night, I'm going to ask her out. So she's hanging out with her friends and I go over there to pull her aside and uh, to ask her out. And instead she says, hey, will you see if your friend, his name is Bubba, will ask me out. Uh, and I'm like, oh, sure, yeah, sure. Uh, so I half-heartedly told Bubba and he wasn't into it. I'm like, yeah, so, yeah. I got, I got friend zone immediately before I could even ask the question. I can see, Bubba, there's this girl that likes you. I don't really remember her name. I'm just going to kind of say, you, you don't want to go. You know, you're not interested, right? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. No, no. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's it great. Good. It was terrible. <laughs> I was heartbroken. <laughs> there Didn't enjoy a concert. I don't even remember yeah. who was playing now. Yeah. It's probably somebody big and you missed it. Was, it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the crutch was dropping in the place. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I was all soaking <laughs> in a corner. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Tenth Avenue North is getting their start. Oh. You're like, I, I don't even I don't even hear music. <laughs> I hear a broken food, heart. Food has no taste. Yeah. yeah. I see no colors in the trees. <laughs> I remember being raised in church, yeah, you know, going to children's programs and and get entering the youth group. And uh, I was a, I was in middle school, and I started dating this girl at our church. And her parents were in the choir. And my parents were in the choir. And I mean, it just it was ideal fit. I mean, if her parents, you know, it was like a betrothed relationship. I mean, mm. not really, but I mean, it could have been. And I remember that very first Sunday morning when our hands touched. You know, that moment. You've just taken things to the next level, folks. My pinky touched her pinky. <laughs> you know, I could hear angels singing. <laughs> and uh, it was it was then and set in stone we were steady because we had held hands in church. <laughs> and it made its way around, definitely. You know, the, oh, my gosh, you see Mario Tony say, you all can believe this. Oh, man. So, yeah. Dating in church. <laughs> well, if you don't have any dating stories because you don't have a date, we're here to help you out. That's right. We've got the ultimate definitive list to terrible Christian pickup lines. And we're going to share them with you today. All right. I've actually been looking at some of these. I haven't looked at them all, and so I'm kind of excited about maybe even using some of these. But I'm married. That doesn't that gonna work. Scratch that. <laughs> Man, I hope you're saved, because I want to spend eternity with you. Have you died before? Because that sure looks like a resurrection body to me. I've been looking for a girl to be abstinent with. Is this pew taken? You float my ark. Do you need prayer? Because I'm more than willing to lay hands on you. If I walk around you seven times, Will you fall for me? You, me, Song of Solomon, the remix. What can I do to fill this great divide between us? My life is purpose driven. Want to be my passenger? Want to be my prayer partner? Bathsheba had nothing on you. Is this seat saved? No. Are you? 
You are so unblemished, I would sacrifice you. Don't fight it. You and I both know, in the end, love wins. I didn't believe in predestination until tonight. I've never been slain in the spirit, but I'm sure it would feel just like when you looked me in the eyes. Did you say your name was Esther? No? I guess I just think that you were chosen for such a time as this. I think this is the genesis of something special. Now let's exodus this place. What are you doing for the rest of your afterlife? Nothing compares to your embrace. Let's be like Noah and do this as a pair. I think I'm falling in love with you. Like a radical, purpose-driven life in the shack kind of love. I've fallen harder than Goliath for you. You are evidence of intelligent design. You and me, we're just like loaves and fishes. We just might be a miracle. Is your name Grace? Because you are amazing. Do you want to be uh, accountability partners? Hey, does Gabriel know you're down here? I know you've already said no once, but call me Joshua, because I'm going to break your walls down. Oh, the things that we could do in the context of marriage. Now I know why Solomon had 700 wives. He never met you. You want to see my Greek tattoo? It's actually Hebrew, by the way. I'm no Joseph, but I'm not having any trouble deciphering these dreams I've been having about you. You know, it's funny that I met you because I was just reading Proverbs 31 the other day. I'd part the Red Sea for you. I happen to be fluent in all five love languages. I already gave Jesus my heart, but you can have my number. Excuse me, but I believe you have a rib of mine. Want to come over to my house for a Bible study later? Is your name Faith? Because you're the substance of things I've hoped for. It's obvious to me that you sprouted from the good kind of soil. Ah, girl, let me cleave under that. I'd say God bless you, but it looks like he already has. Love waited. Are you just that hot, or is the Holy Spirit burning inside you? His eye is on the sparrow, but my eye is on you. People say that miracles don't happen anymore. You should prove them wrong and go on a date with me. I thought I had kissed dating goodbye until you said hello. I spent my morning reading through the book of Numbers and I realized I don't have yours. God did say it's not good for man to be alone and I don't see anyone else here. You put the cute in persecuted. Is your name Eve? Because you are clearly made for me. In Bible times, I would have given your dad so many goats for you. You must be on fire for God. Because girl, you are smoking. Hey baby, are you the Ark of the Covenant? Because you're so hot, you're melting my face off. So it's time to get childish. We are going to be playing a game with candy hearts. All right. Nothing more childish than candy hearts. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a candy heart tower. <laughs> one by one, we're going to place uh, one of these little oversized candy hearts and see how high we can make the tower. When the tower falls, whoever placed the one on there, whoever makes it fall pretty much, right. loses. Okay. And the other person wins. Easy enough. Right. Since uh, it's a, it's a sad thing. Uh, <laughs> this person literally frowning at me. 
If you draw this one, you're you're doomed to be lonely for Valentine's Day. Go ahead. Yeah. Since I am the reigning champion holding the back rofi, Marty gets to lay first. All right. So here we go. I'll start out with purple. Here we are. Two. For more, check out BackRowOnline.com or check us out on Twitter at BackRowOnline and at BackRowBeliever or our personal accounts. Everything's linked in the description below. All right. And now to finish our show today, once again, we're going to get our Youth Master's hat for our Back Row Thought of the Day. All right. Back Row Words of Wisdom. Here we go. All right. There's nothing out there that 16 leftover potluck brownies won't cure except maybe decapitation but try it first anyways <laughs> yeah i like that <laughs> i like that like there's any such thing as a leftover potluck brownie <laughs> exactly what's that <laughs> <laughs> i mean plenty of leftover salad yeah sure. you know enjoy leftover... this untouched veggie tray <laughs> with artichoke dip <laughs> Of fried chicken next to it. People bring stuff like that. I'm like, who hurt you? Yeah, yeah. Why, why are you trying to inflict your sadness? There was at some point in your life where things turn. And like, when did you think, nah, I'm not gonna bring a bag of chips or some mashed potatoes or something? I know everybody really wants carrots. Mm -hmm.